watching the school station and as schools around the upstate get closer to reopening, some parents are concerned about one area of the student population they say is more at risk than most special needs students. Tonight we spoke to a parent who was worried neither the virtual or in person offerings will give her son what he needs to stay safe and healthy. Matt Koufax live tonight with more on her story. Yeah, Cody, today Greenville County held a virtual meeting where they laid out more detailed plans for special needs students come fall 2020. One parent tells me she'd like to see more of that in all counties across the upstate and the state of South Carolina for that matter as the anxiety mounts for her and many others in her same position. Tabitha says Harbor's son Philip goes to school in Pickens County. He has both Down syndrome and severe autism. He's probably got the mind of a 15 month old and the body of a 10 year old. Harbor says Philip has his own unique set of challenges in a pandemic that is all about minimizing contact with surfaces and covering up. She's worried about returning him in person. He's very oral, so he likes to put his mouth on toys, walls, you know, it's not his fault. He just doesn't know any better. He doesn't want his face to be touched. So there's no way he would ever wear a mask. And although Pickens has a virtual academy, she says it'll be ineffective for her son as well. I don't think special needs children are being thought of in this new process. It's very scary and I don't know what to do. Today in Greenville County, the district addressed their special needs plans in greater detail. If a family chooses to enroll their child in our <laughs> virtual program, we will hold an IEP meeting to talk about how things will be different. Assistant Superintendent Tracy Hogan says the biggest question for the 11,000 students they have on IEPs is, can it be done? We're going to need to teach a lot of students about social distancing. We'll have visual cueing and throughout the building. She says instruction plans will have to be modified and they are making every effort they can to include instructors who know the student in the process. But Harbor says she can't see how it'll ever work. What about the kids that won't wear a mask? What about the kids that are going to lick all the toys or lick all the walls or, you know, like, I hate to say it, but that's what's going to happen. What about the germs? What about them going home to their grandparents who are 82, great grandparents? And Tabitha tells me that she's not 100% sure what she wants to do yet. She is weighing all of her options right now, but she hopes that speaking out about this will shine a light on the issue and possibly even spurn some further action to make it safer for those students who she says need it the most and are the most at risk. In Greenville tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Matt, thanks. Coming up, we have more details about how Pickens County is preparing to return to school and for the latest on school plans.